Oh, there you go. That's a nice one, Larry. There we go. Not bad for first cast, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, it doesn't surprise me. Folks, welcome to the Niagara region and Buffalo, and one of my favorite destinations, not only for fishing, but for vacationing. Oh, because of the variety of fishing that they offer, and also the scenery and everything else. Hi, I'm Larry Ladowski, and this is what I'm after today. I'm fishing with a longtime friend, Frank Campbell. He's a guide in the Niagara region area. Show us how to catch some of these fish. Great jump. <laughs> I give him a 10. <laughs> Stick with us. We're going to have some fun today. Yeah, that didn't take long, Larry. No. I'm going to tell you what. You know, we, we set out today to just say, hey, whatever bites, we'll fish for it. And uh, I think we're off to a good start. <laughs> no doubt. I'd say. Fishing uh, here on the lower Niagara River out of Lewiston. You know, it's great getting out here with Larry. I love having you in the area. We're bass fishing. We're going to target some other species, whatever wants to bite. But there's also salmon available, trout. So we're throwing jerk baits now, but we might switch up in a little bit. Who knows? We'll see what you're up for. It's interesting that we just made a little change and came out in the lake. Well, because we could. It's a beautiful day and, you know, changed up our tactics a little bit. Instead of casting like we were doing earlier, now we're power drifting, I guess, where we're running three-way swivels. Oh, there, finally said, all right, I'm see ya. I'm gonna just bring mine in. Yeah. We would have made it work, Larry. I think I'll get the net. Which one do you want? The uh, big one? It's, it's gonna be the big boy net. Okay. He's taking line. All right. He's just running for the bottom now. I'm surprised he came up that. You know, once they get up like that, they're a little bit on the lazy side sometimes. If you match up the gear to them, I mean, we're running 10 pound tests, we're running basically bass gear. And as long as you have a good drag on your, you know, on your reel, you'll be able to land them. Swim right into the net. Ooh, I'm gonna tell you, that was an awesome net job. You need a first mate job there, Larry? <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful, wow. Beautiful Niagara Bar, Lake Ontario, Lake Trout. The next species, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> I know you always say you're disappointed when we don't catch multiple species. Well, we're gonna try to keep you happy, Larry. You're doing it today, buddy. You know, who knows what we'll be on to next, Larry. Oh, there is. is. That one of those other species we talked about? It sure is, and it's taking me all over the place, Frank. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna lift this one. I think we'll net him. How does that sound? It sounds good to me. Man, that just came up and he was after it. <laughs> There he goes back on that side. <laughs> oh, nice brown trout. This is why every cast will be a something different species over here. I'm using the same lure, jerk bait. This thing just hammered it. We may be a while here, Frank. <laughs> and he ain't ready to come in really. Around to the other side. I can bring him nice over. To us, huh? Try to. This is why you have, a, have to have a good reel when, when you're fishing around here, because you never know what you're going to hook into, and you need a good drag for anything. Any, any of these you can fish. land just about any fish on this type of tackle, but you got to play them right and you got to have a good drag. Those are the two keys. Look at that. That head's just pointing right down. That's a Big nice old brown. tail. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, says, to, I saw that net. I'm, I'm not going in there. <laughs> like, nope. There we go. Oh, look at that. Nice catch. Beautiful brown <laughs> trout. Holy cow. This is proof positive that you never know what you're going to catch in the Niagara River. Yeah. Ooh, nice to one. They're all nice. Some are just a little better than others, I guess. <laughs> Fish in this area, and you look, and the shoreline's pretty rocky. But we're not here because it's a rocky shoreline. We're here because it's a back eddy, and that's what's holding the bait. We're actually looking for areas of less current. I got one too. Are, oh, Larry's hooked up too, beautiful. Double. There must be bait here, Larry. Must be. I got a Berkeley Stunna, you know, jerk bait on, and you could, you could vary up your, your presentation and actually practice your pre various presentations because they don't really cater to one, one style here. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, yours is a little bigger, Frank. That's okay. It's all good, man. I said they're all good. Some are just a little better than others. The area as a whole offers a lot. And what we're finding more and more is, you know, the family may come out and go fishing in the morning. They come back and they head up to town. They go see the falls around the Cave of the Winds, the Maid of the Mist. I mean, 
there's a lot of stuff to do. We're very rich in not only fishing, but history and things to do, too. So. Yeah, you got the winery, you've got the fort at the, end of, the, yeah, fort at the end of this river. It's just a fantastic town. And what I like to look at Lewiston as, it's like a little Mayberry. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is. Don't work until Larry hooks up. <laughs> it's 11th hour. Well, you did just say you wanted to go to the Brickyard for a... Oh, what, what is, is that? A That's a bass. Holy cow. Wow. That's not what we're looking for. <laughs> That's oh, a big man. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> what a way to end the day, Frank. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, we were trout fishing, but like we say, you never know. Here. What is that doing in here? Folks, you want to have some fun? Come on out to the Niagara area in Lewiston and fish with this guy, Captain Frank Campbell. Frank, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, the best best thing to do here is to reach out to Destination Nag USA, so it's NiagaraFallsUSA.com. That's awesome. And folks, you can book a vacation, you can book a fishing vacation, you can go see the falls. There's so much to do around this area. I want to thank Captain for having us out today, as well as the Niagara Crossing for putting us up. Midwest Outdoors, we'll be right back. I'm Larry Ladowski. We're going to release this girl, and we'll catch you later.